everyone, it's Kario again with another mask review. Uh, now you might remember I said in the Stinger review how there would be a slightly special uh, video coming up. And this is the one in fact. It's all about Matt Tracker, but not exactly how you might remember him. Yeah, he is. Looks a little different, doesn't he? And that's because this isn't a mask figure, although it is. As it says, specialist tracker. But you might see on the base, he's a G.I. Joe. Let's compare him quickly as well. Since he's a G.I. Joe, he's a lot taller than your standard mask figure. <laughs> In fact, he's about twice the size. Oh, this is um, Matt Tracker in his Rhino and Bold Hill based uh, outfit as well. So that's a clue for a future review. Pulling him away, let's take a look at him more closely. Um, you'll notice, uh, remember how in the cartoon when he drove Thunderhawk he had this outfit, the white and red. However, for the G.I. Joe release, they've added on well, it's like a pro air harness. He did have these belts on the figure moulded on, but he didn't have what looks like this uh, bulletproof vest of some sort. Also additional packs on his legs, because I think if they were moulded onto the other figure as well. Because the size has been scaled up, they gave him a much better moulded face. Very stern. <laughs> uh, he looks a little bit older though. Which is good because it looks as if it's uh, carrying on from the series with them now uh, a division part of G.I. Joe. How do I know they're uh, a division part of G.I. Joe? Well it's written on this package. Let's have a quick nosy. File name, Matt Tracker. So it is the guy himself. Speciality, vehicle designer. Makes sense. Secondary military speciality, advanced technology. Makes a lot of sense. After all, these are vehicles that goddamn transform with guns underneath the hoods and God knows what else that can fit in them. It also uh, goes to mention on this card as well about how uh, they combat Venom. But unfortunately, they never did a Miles of Mayhem figure. Or at least they haven't so far. Uh, oh yeah, just to add as well. Look at the corner. Mobile Armored Strike Command. I love that. Now they actually made this figure, I think it was a 25th anniversary, something like that. And it was done, if I can have a quick check at the date, if there is one on here. 2008, so he's not uh, too old a figure. And it shows because I think I picked him up for just a tenner off eBay. I just found the one in an English auction, so lucky me. Now, obviously, because it's a mask figure, this can't be all it comes with. He has to come with his mask. And here we go. Spectrum. Or as I like to call it, Spectrum Mark II. Because it doesn't really look too much like the original. But at least it doesn't come with the, the extra parts that cover the chest. That Kenner started doing in the first series. I'm not sure what that was all about. Nobody seems to know what that's all about. But anyway... Let's go ahead and put it on. And there we go. The completed Mac Tracker figure. Or it would be, but this is a Jar Joe. Jar Joe, oops, sorry about that. Jar Joe's uh, always come with uh, accessories. And in this case, first off, he's got a gun. A little bit original, because I don't think... Uh, Mask figures ever really came with guns, at least not in the vehicles. So anyway, now he's rocking a submachine gun. And the second part is a, a fun little nod to Mask. He's got a, his own little vehicle packed in with him. Ring any bells? Green and black? Rotors? Condor reference. Apart from this one, it comes armed with uh, what well, looks like a grenade launch on the bottom, a bolt gun or something like that, machine gun on the top, and then it's control arm. 
and also you can alter the rotors. Let's put it on him then. Sorry about the weight. And there we are, the finally completed Mac Jagger figure. And that's really all I've got to say about him. Uh, it's just a, a nice decent figure if you're a real fan of uh, Mask. He's a, a nice addition. I just wish that for the anniversary they went ahead and did Miles Mayhem. And heck, uh, they should have done some vehicles as well. That would have been really good to see um, in the G.I. Joe scale. I mean, they've kind of done one already for the movie. That, um, oh, that Hummer vehicle, the black one. Baroness and Storm Shadow driving around in, in Paris. Uh, that's got all pop out guns and whatnot. So, if they can do that, it would have been really nice to see what they could have done with Mask. But hey, hopefully, there's still time. And uh, if they do, if you're listening out there, I'd like to see them. Anyway, that's it for this review. Kari signing off.